I mean, I never even thought that I'd make it out of here alive, so. <sighs> take, take, take off your t-shirt. You know I really want it, doesn't matter if it's gonna hurt. I'm a Syrian, ex-junkie, glamour butch lesbian. I'm a hair-bending, punk rock and roll musician. Everybody camped out here, it was like, Tent City, that's what it was called. Yeah, this was my bench over here, or close to it, because they redid it. Being like the best of the worst, the best of the worst, that was the edge back then. Those moments that I spent on stage, it gave me that connection to people through music, and I loved it, man. Okay, so the lookouts used to be on that corner right there by the U-Bar, and whenever the cops would come by, they'd be like, 5-0, 5-0 down the street. And everybody would have to walk, 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 walk. It wouldn't have mattered if the guy next to me was shot or stabbed or whatever, as long as, you know, I was floating in that deep bliss. It's just about trying to make sense of it all. If you met me right now, you'd never know it. Where I've been, most never ever dare to go. But I dove right in, eyes wide open, expecting to land somewhere else. The title of this bit is called Harley Loco, a memoir of hard living, hair, and post-punk. From the Middle East to the Lower East Side. The ride is what's so cool, you know, being able to really feel that completely. It's always exciting to me now, that's the edge. I don't want to be anybody else because that's their job.